you can reach higher consciousness right now. Just like that. Just like that. Nothing is required. No mind altering substances are required. Just move into knowingness. You already know. You just don't know that you know. Unless you do. There are those who know. But they don't know that they know. They are like children. Teach them. And there are those who don't know, but think that they know. <laughs> They're dangerous, avoid them. Then there are those who don't know, but who are willing to know. They're students. Nurture them. Then there are those who know, but who have forgotten that they know. They are asleep. Wake them. Then there are those who know, but they pretend that they don't know. They are actors, enjoy them. But don't get caught up in their dramas. Because they're making it all up. Then there are those who know and who know that they know. These are the cognoscenti, those who know. Don't follow them, because if they know that they know, they would not have you follow them. But do what they can to cause you to know that you know, you know? Because they want you to know, not what they know. They want you to know that you know all that you need to know. And you never did not know. You've always known what you need to know. You can rely and depend on yourself because there's nothing you do not know. You're like the tree outside your window. When that tree was no larger than the seed, the seedling from which it grew, the seed which was no larger than the fingernail and your pinky finger, that's how big the seed was. Yet, encoded in the seed was everything that that tree needed to know to grow into the mighty oak that soars 40 feet into the air with a glorious canopy that provides shade for a dozen people. The tree hasn't learned anything through its years of growth. It's simply grown into grown into what it was at the beginning and at what it was encoded to become. Now, if God so loved the tree as to encode it so completely, would she not all the more love you? It's really quite simple. I promise you, you know all that you need to know. And when you know that you know, your life changes. You stop questioning, you stop doubting, you stop wondering 
about whether you know, because you suddenly know that you know. And then life becomes a miracle. Not only for you, but for everyone whose life you touch, who may have forgotten that they know. Until you remind them. Oh, I, I, I could be wrong about all of this. It's all up here. If you decide that when I sit in a certain way, like this, no, you don't understand. My right leg needs to be crossed over my left. And it doesn't go like this, by the way. It's like this. I remember when I was a kid, you know, we, all, we all have these ways. When I was a child in Catholic school, in the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Ghost. One day, you know, it was a, when I was in third grade or whatever, we were saying our morning prayers, in the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Ghost. And the, 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 the nun said, no, 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 no. I said, what, what? She said, no, it's not this. It's this, left shoulder, right shoulder. I'm not kidding, I was corrected on that. She's, I said, what possible difference can it make? You know, what if I do it this way? I, said, I got a backward, and God answers backward. <laughs> I don't understand. What you... No, no, there, but there are certain practices. You know, a Catholic priest told me about this practice. This is a. This is a joke actually shared with me by a Catholic priest, so I get to share it with you. He said, God called his son Jesus into the throne room one day, and he said, my son, I have some good news and some bad news. Which would you like to hear first? And Jesus said, well, I, I don't know. I'm... Give me the bad news. God said, okay, well, the bad news is you're going to have to die to save men's souls. And Jesus said, well, okay, well, what's the good news? The good news is you get to choose your manner of death. You can either die on the cross of crucifixion or you can die with, of bee stings. God said, I'm sorry? You know, you know, being stung by a thousand bees. Which do you choose? So Jesus said, let's see, bee stings, crucifixion, bee stings. I choose the cross. God said, okay, and that's why we do this today. It's not this. <laughs> See, so it depends what ritual works for you. If this is what works for you, you know, sitting in meditation, sitting a certain way and not that way, breathing this way and not that way, you see, but be careful. You don't think that that's the way, because if you do, you'll start teaching other people. No, 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 it works like, it works like this. Breathe through your nostrils. You can't breathe through your mouth. In through your nose, out through your mouth. And you got to count to three. You know. There's a way to do this. There's a way to do this. You see, you got to have legs cross both of them. You got to have to get, you know, I mean, if it works, I'm not making fun of it. If it works for you, by golly, do it. But be careful. You don't think that that's the right way. There's only one way. That's the way. That's not the way. See, whatever works for you. You got it? It becomes holy because it works for you. So I'm not making fun of it. Be, be clear. You know, if you got a way that works, whether it's ayahuasca or whether it's, or, you know, or whatever, or sitting a certain way or breathing a certain way, by golly, go for it. But you know what? I don't need any of that. I don't meditate. I don't take ayahuasca. I don't take anything. I don't sit. I don't do this. I don't do any of it. I don't do any of it. I just sit in my computer and go, there it is, 33 books. Not bragging about it, just telling you, no process. I don't have a, I don't have a thing that I do in the morning. <laughs> Rub your ears. <laughs> you know, whatever the hell it is. So I just want to share with you that it's not necessary. And it's okay if you want to make it necessary in your experience. Go for it. Are you getting it? But you can call it forth like that. 
just because you do.